Your husband, Mr. Glenn, borrowed $100,000 from us. He said he wanted to invest in a business. When we collected the debt, he gave us your information. He said you will pay us. We're forced to do that if you don't have money. What are you doing? What's the matter with you? This is the company I work for. Come on, don't do it. Once you have the money, we will stop. Please stop. The money you're looking for, I'll pay for Betty. Kevin, why? If you pay sooner, we will not do this thing. Betty, don't worry. I will help you. Episode 3, Live in Nightmare Kevin, why did you do that? If I don't, this company will be destroyed by them. $100,000 is a lot of money. How can I pay you back? I only have one request. If you can make it, you don't need to pay it back. What's the request? You must divorce your husband. That's the only thing I'm asking. I can't. I still love Glenn. I don't want to divorce him. Can't you see he got you into trouble? I'm sure he can bring more problems. Betty, why don't you love me? I can take care of everything for you. Because I have no feelings for you. I know you're sweet about me, but all I got is feelings for Glenn. If you continue your wrong marriage with Glenn, you will regret it. I'm sorry. I want to leave early today. I have to meet Glenn and talk about the debt. Okay, you're free to go early. Glenn, why did you do that? Betty, what do you mean? Why did you borrow $100,000? I cannot afford to pay. My family will never help me. Do you want us to be poor for the rest of our lives? I want us to have better lives. Do you know the debt collector has been at my company? If I lose my job, what will we do? Do not worry. I put money into selling on Amazon. We will be rich soon. I'm sick of you being paranoid. Please, be realistic. A lot of money has already been spent. The result is nothing. How dare you tell me this? You expect me to slap you again? It's the truth. I did something wrong when I married you. Why the hell would I want to marry you? Are you planning on getting divorced? Glenn, please stop it. If not, I will call the police. I won't permit you to leave me. You can call police. I don't scare. There's nobody to save you. Help me! Help me! Is Betty off work again today? Yes, she told me she was sick. Kevin, it would help if you got Betty out of here. Why do you say that? The debt collectors last time spooked the employees. This is because of Betty. I know what I'm doing. It's not Betty's fault. Let's see. I only have $200 for this week. I think I should buy cheap food. Betty, are you going to the supermarket today? Mom? What happened to you? You have such a swollen face. And why are there bruises on the limbs? 
It's nothing. Mom, I fell when I was cleaning. Betty, this isn't a fall. Obviously, the wound you got hit by someone. Tell me, what happened? It's nothing, Mom. Did Glenn beat you? No, don't take this the wrong way. Glenn treated me very well. I don't have a problem with him. How's the $30,000 I lent you? Is the business still okay? It's okay. I will pay you back when I have enough money. I need to go home. I will call you later. Goodbye, Mom. Betty, wait. Something's not right about her. Betty's behavior was panic-stricken when I asked. I need to do something to help Betty, or she'll be in danger. Glenn here. Ella, is that you? Do you want to meet me? Glenn, this may be one of the rare times we speak to each other. It's my fault. You are Betty's mother. I should be in regular contact. I'm also so sorry I didn't attend your and Betty's wedding. Glenn, are you happy getting married to Betty? Why do you ask so? Did Betty say something? No, she said nothing. But as a mother, I need to know if her Liv is happy or not. Of course, she is happy. Don't worry. To make Betty truly happy, each month I will deposit into your account $3,000. I hope this money keeps Betty safe from her troubles. She should still be happy. Will you give me $3,000 a month? Really? I never lied about it. You have to promise me to treat her well. I promise. I've never done anything wrong with her. I trust you. Don't tell Betty about today. That's all right. I have money to spend. Betty is a gold mine. I will not divorce her. Or I won't have any more money. Hopefully. This way, Glenn will treat Betty well. Are you busy this afternoon? I want you to join me in meeting the client. Okay, I'll go with you. That client was annoying. You still have the right to sign the contract. You're so good, Kevin. Thanks to you too. The material you prepared is excellent. Betty, how's the divorce going? I told you already. I will not divorce Glenn. Kevin, what are you doing? Why can't you understand my sorrow? I love you is true. No, I already have a husband. I love you. Betty, what are you doing? Glenn, why are you here? 